What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of the Solar Channel where I cover all things solar power. So are you in the market for a new solar panel system and have come across this Tesla website? Seems pretty easy and straightforward, right? A few simple clicks and boom, you have your system ordered. So we're gonna go over the actual cost of this system. So let's get right into it. So I'm here at their website and the first thing you have to do is go to order now. You're gonna type in your home address and your energy bill. And right off the bat, it's gonna give you a recommendation of what product you should get. So right here, because of the size of my home, it's suggesting I get 16.32 kilowatts which is $32,800. So it's also recommending that I get four power walls. So I don't wanna get four power walls. I can change it, right? I can't remove the power walls entirely. Because of the size of my system, I have to get a minimum of two power walls. Well, you can get one power wall, but your system has to be smaller. I can change my system right here. So if I go to energy offset, it's gonna tell me my energy needs and what my system's gonna cover. So if I wanted to go with one power wall, I need to downgrade my system to an eight kilowatt panel system. And that would be $16,400 for an eight kilowatt panel system. And my power walls would be 10,500. So all in right here, I'd be paying $19,900. That doesn't sound too bad, right? But the thing is when you go to offset your energy, I'd be putting out eight kilowatts of solar power and my energy needs are 26,000. So if I'd be paying 20,000 for the system, it really doesn't justify the cost because I'd only be saving about $50 a month in my bill, right? My break even would be right around 10 years. All right, so let's go with the recommended, right? So we're gonna go with the recommended and we'll go with the four power walls. And this is the, the most expensive system that they have. So right here, it's telling me my system would be $46,472. So there's a little asterisk right here. So what is that asterisk telling us? It's telling us that the actual cost of the system is $62,000. $800. So right here, it's telling me the federal tax credit. So that's removing the tax credit. Now, let me just point out that you still have to pay this, whether you finance it or buy it cash, you're still paying this amount. It's not like you, you're going to finance and they're going to deduct this. You have to pay this. And then when you file your taxes the next year, you'll get this tax credit. So you do get another credit from your energy company. Hopefully you have a credit from your energy company. Right here, I get a $2,500 solar rebate and my payment would be $495. So why does it change right here from $495 to $336? All right, so what's gonna happen here is, let's go over the term real quick. So the term is gonna be for 10 years, your minimum down payment is gonna be 6,280. And again, this is for the, the large system uh, with the four power walls and the 16,000 kilowatt system. So right here, we're gonna have a $6,280 down payment, 0.99% APR, we'll just round it up and say 1% APR. The financed amount is 56,520. So this financed amount is not set in stone and it might go up just due to installation. You might have different things that you need for the install so the reason this price goes from 495 to 336 after 18 months is assuming that you do get this $15,000 tax credit right here that you make a payment of this tax credit onto your loan and that would bring your new monthly payment down to $336. So what Tesla was doing up until a few weeks ago is they had these two amounts flipped so Right off the bat, you were paying the lower amount of $336. And assuming you'd get this tax credit and you, you make a payment on it, your payment amount would stay the same, $336. But if you didn't make this payment right here, your new payment after 18 months would be $495 for the remainder of the loan. So what they did, they just flipped it. So besides that, it's pretty easy and straightforward. So all you're gonna have to pay today or the date that you purchase your panels is $100 to get started. So from there, what's gonna happen is within a few days, you're gonna get a representative to call you or text you, email, uh, whatever your, your preferred method of communication is. And they're gonna ask you for pictures of certain things of your garage, for example, or your basement, or 
or pictures of your electrical box. All they're trying to figure out is the best place to put your power walls and your panels and where your electricity is coming from to figure out the best method to install your kit. As of this video, there is a 16 week waiting list from the time you purchase your solar panel kit. So back to the panels here. What happens if you don't want to order the power walls? Well, that's not an option because you have to have some type of power wall in order to order Tesla solar. And even if I go with the smaller 12 kilowatt kit, my minimum solar panel option is two, which is $17,000, which is a lot. So Tesla quickly went from being one of the more affordable solar panel systems to one of the more expensive ones. So let's quickly go over the solar roof here. What's crazy about the solar roof is that it's actually more expensive than the 16 kilowatt panel kit, which is $72,032. And this only puts out 15 kilowatts or 15.44 kilowatts. So if you wanna go with this kit here, you're gonna pay $102,000 for a roof that doesn't even put the same amount of power out as solar panels do. And this goes throughout your whole roof. I believe this is more of a status thing than actual uh, solar production, you'd actually be paying almost triple of what you'd be paying for the 16 kilowatt panel kit, which is 32,000. So I hope this video helped you out in making the right decision for you. If you want some information on a DIY solar panel kit, check the link in my description. There you'll find everything you need for your new system from different makes, models and prices to contractors and financing. The beauty part is you'd be saving thousands, if not tens of thousands. Also, check out my Amazon links for some cool solar panel gear when you want to go off the grid. Thanks for watching. Check you on the next one.